today we are on the test server with dorky dad how's it going dorky dad i'm doing great my man how you doing pretty good before we get into the photon a4 secret defenders footage let's talk a little bit about uh well just tell them the new avengers oh That's my god right. so ronin and mockingbird we already knew about them but we've now been allowed to tell you guys about two reworks going with them and that's going to be colson and thing way ahead of left field uh a fifth unannounced character probably going to be a new character not coming uh next patch or this patch i suppose and we don't know if mockingbird is going to become this patch as well but we do know this is going to be a war defensive team in the same vein as infestation so very limited counters nowhere should beat them uh but other than that it's it's we're our nowhere is stretched out from all these new teams yeah so it's gonna be a while it's not gonna be in this patch but anyways all right let's get into the secret defenders photon footage we're gonna look at my team which is fully maxed out and we're looking at your team which is gonna have same numbers we're gonna go up against some of the harder hitting teams inside of alliance war and what i was thinking is that photon is coming out today i think there's a lot of opportunity where what you can do you can do a full secret vendor team you can use them on offense with uh jessica jones and a force and then maybe use the remaining members on defense maybe with apocalypse or like you suggested chavez what are you going to do when photon is the only character that we have initially I'm definitely going to get Photon and I'm definitely going to build her up as high as I possibly can because this team is bonkers good and it's going to be really exciting in uh, changing the war meta. Okay, so uh, I'm going to go in and uh, I'm going to go up against a Gamma and then I'm going to go up against Secret Defenders. Let's do the Secret Defender one first because that's the one that kind of like shocked me is that this actually does like if people are going to go full Secret Defenders, a similarly powered a force with photon is gonna walk over it so are, are you gonna even consider putting secret defenders like a full secret defenders on defense or is that gonna be a waste no i think that's a waste i think photon with a force makes that team uh like a, a top three war offense team and then secret defenders even without photon you put strange in there you put someone else with there i think that is still a top three more offense team so i'm definitely gonna be splitting them up i think it's much better and especially after you showed me this footage it was it solidified my thinking that you know secret defenders they're fine without photon photons amazing elsewhere and uh, i want to keep my secret defenders on offense if they can be this easily dispatched yeah are, are you gonna are you gonna split them up and have two offensive teams or are you gonna have i mean, that, I mean I, that's what i was getting at is that this kind of gives an opportunity for two teams yeah, I think that's the case. Uh, I think it's going to be both of them on war offense. I think we're going to start seeing teams like Underworld, Weapon X. Uh, they're going to end up on defense, maybe more death scene and stuff like that. We'll probably see teams like Heroes for Hire, Young Avengers. They may get retired just from people who weren't here when they were initially released. I think Heroes for Hire is still a much better defense team than some of the ones I just listed. But if you miss the boat on when they were released, then going back to build them up is kind of not uh advisable right 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 yeah so um this is it look at that dr strange dies from the splash damage and i know that's been controversial a lot of people are talking about like dr strange kind of them doing dirty i kind of agree with that that is he's not not the best right yeah i i think so i i have some thoughts about things they could do for dr strange to at least make him his rework somewhat exciting like get him on the dark hunter team in some way shape or form and make them finally a true counter to all heroes for hire but uh, who knows if they would ever consider doing anything else with them yeah this so uh, i just want to say that the secret defender team on defense is going to be problematic overall yeah. unless you're doing something like this the thing about it is that we're going to get photon first so we're not going to have that on defense man but photon can do some fun things with why don't we go and do let's see valley flying has a full gamma on defense let's go do that and then we're going to show the difference uh between yours and this here because it's it's a, not quite the same experience and then what are you going to use for photon for you know in the next week or two when we just have photon yeah, it'll be it'll be with A Force for sure, and I think it's going to be more just like a master key to all teams that are not Gamma or uh, like Apocalypse, Starkhold, and not Infestation. Um, I think they're just going to be easily walk over everything else, and that to me is a good enough reason to use them and and to be excited about her. 
Um, because as you'll see here on, on a punch across, this team's fantastic against Gamma. But uh, on a punch up, which will be the majority of players will be punching up with their A Force into the apocalypse necessity of Gamma, right? So doing big punch ups doesn't seem to be as advisable. Yeah, and so it's going to be kind of like a, I don't know, there's a couple teams that are kind of like that right now. Weapon X and Infinity Watch are kind of like catch-all teams in uh, Alliance War right now where, I mean, there's not like super specific, they're kind of like a flex team, right? So you're thinking A-Force, uh, A-Force Photon is going to be a flex team. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I think they're going to be what Underworld currently is, which is just a, an I win button against the majority of teams. All right, let's see. And we're getting through this. As you see, I kind of got greedy there with uh, Red Hulk. Do you see how I did that? I was like, be greedy. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and actually, uh, I actually was, uh, after this, uh, it kind of can go into a loop because these guys are still pretty big and the damage is kind of rough. I mean, this is not auto win right here. Uh, let's see. Let's hit all three. I guess especially if they're all healers, right? Because the only heal block you have is from Spider Woman Special. Yeah, the heal, the heal's a problem. Uh, so uh, that you know, like they, they're they're chunky, right? And um, and then and they do heal back up. So I actually had some problems with this earlier, where they would just heal and heal and heal, and I was like, oh man, dude, what's going on? Like, and then like I put like I put it on auto right here, and then I came back like a minute later, and it was still going, and I was like, oh wow, this just doesn't doesn't just go. A heal block would make this a lot better, but they don't have it. And so, and and the problem is, is nobody is going to fully like max out these teams to get this result. I mean, they do scale, but I, I can't imagine anybody would dump the resource into this team other than maybe Photon. Like if people wanted to take Photon into DD6, which might be a thing, right? Oh, I'm definitely taking Photon into Dark Dimension 6. I guess we could talk about it now because the embargo's over. She only costs two pieces for bio. And she's cosmic, so she's a super cheap bio option that's just amazing in war and it's going to be amazing in arena. So I think she's a no brainer for me. All right. So uh, put your put your team on the screen so that I can see how big it is and compared to this. All right. Let's see. Let's toggle over to yours. Let's see. Uh, and this is just going to run out. Um, but yeah, there we go. So we got your team over there. One point four million. And let's go up against, see, everybody's got a big gamma. So this is an actual real world situation here. Let's go. I guess the one thing I would do a little pushback on is they're geared to 18 and that has crazy stats. But this is also geared to a full gear tier of 17 A-Force, which I don't think a lot of people have or will have because bio characters, that's mystic characters that we're using on the, the arena characters coming out this patch. But I, I play it very similar to you. So I got to get the taunt off of uh, Green Hulk, obviously. Um, I then, if I don't put the Disrupt on Green Hulk, he will taunt long before I get to kill him. Because with your bigger team, you were able to get through it. So All I, right. yeah, I, I, was, I was putting it on uh, She-Hulk, but yeah, that makes sense to do that. All right, there you go. Yeah. And then if I use the special on Red Hulk here, it could stall out the matchup, but I have zero chance of killing him. So I have to be greedy and go for the defense down on the basic instead on the Red Hulk. Otherwise, there's no shot. So I go for the basic. I do have to also make my Spider Woman a skirmisher. See, see, Green Hulk would have just taunted right there. Mm -hmm. He just is taunted. So I, immediately, I would have lost. He's still at 75% life. Uh, so Photon is a striker, so you can eat up a vulnerable, which is great with the blind out on Red Hulk. We've actually pushed him to yellow. This is really good. We'll see if my Captain Marvel... No, she is. She doesn't go before him. So with the battlefield effect is out, and that is a big problem. Uh, oh, he's real close to dead. We might get on the ISO attack. Oh, you don't. Oh, there you go. Go. There you go. Hey. There you go. Wolf. Captain Marvel pulls it. See, you're, I still think you're going to have a problem here because the no heal block. Uh, I'm going to lose because the battlefield effect, if nothing else. Um, there's there's very little chance I can win with, with that battlefield effect just wrecking me all over the place. I'll go for the, the Hulk just because he's got the trauma and all the debuffs. Uh, I, man, I feel I feel really wonky about this one because we're showing it win kind of, but I've done this hundreds of times and I, I it's got like a twenty percent win rate at best. Like that Red Hulk very regularly survives and his passive heal just brings him up and up and up and up and it's just over. This is kind of this is what you call streamer slash video luck when we're trying to show things. I don't want to 
give people the wrong idea. All right, so you're still you're still going. I mean, um, here's the problem: is you got the battlefield effect, and they actually have pretty good sustain right here. I actually think you might not yeah. even win this um, because of the sustain on the team. Yeah, yeah, people are slowly trickling down. We are we are kind of healing up a little bit on the photon, which is nice. Try and get those bleeds off. Jessica Jones passive coming in clutch. Yeah, the barrier too, right? Yeah, and luckily we've withstanded all their ability. This is this is such a, a misappropriate thing to show. <laughs> I lose this matchup way more than I win it. Uh, would you like well, me to redo it? I, I mean, well, here, well, here's the thing: is I think people are going to be using nowhere against this, unless I mean, yeah. and and this doesn't do anything against infestation, right? I mean, it just infestation is is tricky. Not mechanically, it cannot it cannot scratch infestation. Yeah, and then and that pretty much means that you know if you start getting uh, you know big, big big time Spider Man, boy, that's a lot of bigs. Uh, yeah. yeah, you're gonna have to use nowhere on that, and then you're gonna have to do something else, you know, on Gamma, and then you still have you know a dark hold apocalypse to deal with, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. And and the dark hold apocalypse, that's kind of the the wrench in the monkey system that's kind of throwing everything off off kilter. I can't believe this one. This is very yeah. And we we've been we've been unable to test any apocalypse teams on the test server at all because they are not awakened. And I don't feel like that's helpful information. So like we have like no good information on dark hold apocalypse, right? It just none, right? Because it's they're not awakened, right? Yeah, we. I don't want to show footage on that, just like you said, because if it's not Awakened, then I can't can't show you how the match actually plays out. Because an Awakened Apocalypse is a different character than a Baby Apocalypse. Just every match it plays different, from the safe he puts out on the special to the hundred percent speed he gets on his uh, empowered attack when he is empowered. So it's it's like it's it's a different character. Right. So what's your take on Photon? Uh, you're gonna take her into Dark Dimension Six. Wait. So this is great, right? I, I love this character. I'm super excited about it. I also like her in the MCU. Uh, I thought she was well acted. Uh, she's probably the character besides Black Cat that I'm going to go the hardest on. I'm going to open up all my my cores are going to go into orbs for Photon. I'll probably end up picking an offer for her, which is a little bit rare for me nowadays. Uh, yeah, I'm going to be going hard on Photon. All right. So that looks like a winner. If you're going to run secret defenders in arena, and you're going to remove a character to put in Apocalypse, and then you're going to remove another character to put in, let's say, Super Scroll. Talk about the order that you would do that as far as removing characters from the Secret Defender lineup. I mean, I know Doctor Strange is the first one, but let's do it. Yeah. So yeah, so Doctor Strange comes out right away. If you have all characters, Doctor Strange comes out for Scroll. After that, I think it's oh it might be Robbie. I love I love Photon's damage. The problem is, you know, Robbie's a great raider, Photon's kind of more of a striker with that percentile damage. Both Apocalypse and Skrull are strikers, so it might be Photon that you take out simply to keep vulnerables alive. I don't think you take Kamala King out no. because of her turn meter rewind on her ultimate and the taunt and everything. And how she kinda acts as the anti enemy awakened apocalypse. Yeah, the, yeah. The, te the, the, the testing I did, we, I took uh, Photon out second for Apocalypse and Super Scroll. Uh, but we'll have, to, we'll have to see. Yeah, but we'll have to see. I mean, it's uh, it, it's so different on these imaginary test servers than the real world. But, you know, so these are just initial thoughts anyways. All right, let me know what you think in the comment section. As always, thanks for watching. Keep on gaming. Bye for now. Oh, shit.